All right, I may have started off a little cocky. This one's probably pretty damn difficult. If you don't know the cross product, of course not. Um, a cross B will always give you the normal vector, the span across, uh, across A and B. And what the hell does that mean exactly? Uh, I've been trying to teach this to myself for 13 years, and I was born yesterday. Um, a cross B, let's call this A, and this is going to be uh, B. And then we cross it. We do that rotation, the right-hand rule, and this is going to be your a normal vector that is span and by this by these two vectors a and b and that's going to give you a normal vector but it's not the unit vector that is an additional secondary step that you need to perform before even solving this problem but let's solve the cross product first so we're going to do the determinant method of we're going to put i uh, j and k here and then we're going to do a uh, list out the a and b components underneath so we're going to say negative one uh, three and zero and then this is going to be two two negative two um, this is going to be obviously in the i hat direction initially so we don't look at these rows or columns we're going to look at this uh, x or determinant here we're going to say uh, negative six minus zero and then we're going to subtract the j hat direction um, like that and we're going to cross that out now look at the j column and then we're going to get uh, two minus zero and then we're going to add the k hat direction which is going to be uh negative two time negative two minus six if i did that correctly hopefully i'm doing this correctly so our vector is going to be a cross b which is going to be negative six i uh negative two j uh negative eight k um that is going to be the normal vector but not the normal uh not the unit vector now if you want to determine the unit vector all you got to do is divide by the magnitude of this bad boy so the magnitude of this bad boy is going to be six squared four uh i'm skipping ahead a little bit 64 uh, this is going to be 36 and then you square root this bad boy so you're going to get a uh, 40 plus 104 it's going to get a weird number 104 uh is, can this be simplified it might be able to be simplified so it'd be 10 squared oh no you can't do that never mind uh, that is the magnitude so if you want the unit vector of a and b uh, in the direction of A and B, that's probably the most important part. I mean, the direction doesn't matter. Normality doesn't depend on how you cross, you know what I'm saying? Um, you could do uh, 104 minus 2, 104 uh, minus 8, 104, and that would be your unit vector. So that's how you solve that problem. Pretty straightforward. A little bit complicated with the determinants and stuff like that. They do that to throw you off. Never use this in my... Uh, career so far. So there's that. Uh, see you in the next one.